Hi, today we're looking at a Sauvignon from the Loire Valley. Uh, I'm going to get my accent wrong, but it's from Monsieur Plazo. They have been growing vines in this part of Chinon uh, in Loire since about 1846, which is about as old as I feel today. Uh, there's a fair shortage of decent Sauvignon Blanc out of France right now. Of course, Sancerre is the buzzword, but we're not looking at Sancerre today. We're looking at Loire Valley Sauve um, and um, keeping an open mind. What they're trying to do here is only a partial barrel ferment, but effectively what we're looking for in terms of marketing, in terms of what our clients want, uh, is something that still has that sort of mid palate grip and the sense of linearity and, and acidity that works so well in the new world. And so having a look, it's probably not as cold as it should be. It's just come out of the samples fridge. So the first nose of it is giving more um, really ripe peach, uh, citrus, lemon, maybe some peach. Um, there's none of that, that, that big rush of nose that we're looking for. However, when you give it a few minutes, what starts to come out is a whole different kettle of fish. It's kind of sculptured and elongated. You're getting a sense of uh, potpourri, some talc. And I think when it's uh, served colder, you take it straight out of the out of the ice bucket, that initial kind of directionless component will have disappeared, I think. It's very well finished. It has a kind of um, a sense of completeness to it. Um, there is definitely a, a, an oak component to it, but it's not overt. You're getting um, quite a lot of crispness, not a huge amount of acidity. So if you were to put, say, uh, let's pick one, Cloudy Bay as, as a 90% a, a acidity scale, this is probably sitting on about a 70%. A lot to do with the oak. Also a lot to do with the, simply the way the terroir defines what a Sauvignon grape does. Um, this would sell for Right about mid to late thirties, and 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 at that price point, it it'll probably find a f probably find a fairly useful home. Um, so we'll show that to the database and see what see what they reckon. Notes on the color, kind of more golden than anything else. Uh, very clean looking though. There's there's definitely it's definitely been well made. I keep coming back to that 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 sense of uh, that sort of powdered oaky. Uh, sorry, part of talky kind of uh, component, which I think is the thing I remember the most about the wine. Something that uh, probably is the winning aspect of it for me. So, once again, Le de Devant, I keep thinking of Deviance, it's also way too late in the year. Chateau de la Bonnelier, 2017. See you around. Cheers.